Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stocking Supply. Um, I had a gentleman named Jeff come to our shop yesterday and he was shopping for a straight bit. And a question I get all the time when someone's looking for rudder bits or spiral bits specifically, they want to know what the difference is between an up spiral and a down spiral. So that's what I'm going to make this video about here. Um, but uh, while we're talking about the spiral bits, we're also going to talk about the single flute straight bits as well as a two flute straight bit and kind of what the differences are there. So we'll start with the single flute bit here. Um, you can compare these two. We got a single flute bit and we got the double flute bit or a two flute straight bit. Um, every time, the more teeth or blades that a bit has, um, the smoother the cut will be generally. Um, now the fewer teeth or blades a router bit has, the faster and cooler the cut will be. So there's certain applications that the bills will work for. Now, an easy way to explain the differences is actually looking at these two table saw blades I have over here. Um, I have a 28 tooth ripping blade as well as a 40 tooth combination blade. Um, this is a nice, a lot nicer blade, but it kind of shows you the differences here. If you look at the space between these two teeth compared to these two, a lot wider gap. That wider gap actually means it will be a lot easier for this particular blade to remove chips, uh, to remove sawdust from the board. So therefore, you can cut faster with that blade. But this blade here, because it's got more teeth, it will actually cut a lot smoother than this blade here. Same is true on these router bits. So a single flute bit will cut faster, and especially on something that's very small, like anything under 3 16 a single flute bit is actually a lot better because when you get that small, there's very little room for chip removal. So having one cutter makes that a lot easier. These two flute bits are a lot more common uh, because they do cut smoother. And these actually are basically the same price, even though this has twice as much carbide, just because these are a lot more common. Now, if we're talking about spirals, um, we got an up spiral, we got a down spiral. Rule of thumb on spirals, an up spiral will pull the chips or the sawdust towards the router. A down spiral will push the chips away from the router. So just remember that. Sometimes it can be confusing if you have your up spiral in a router table, it's actually gonna pull the chips down rather than pushing them up just because the router is upside down. But up spiral towards the router, down spiral away from the router. So that means a couple things. An up spiral is by far the more popular option. It removes chips a lot better because it's pulling them out of the cut rather than forcing them in. Um, so you can cut a lot faster, it cuts a lot cooler. For most applications, this is the better option. Um, the down spiral though does do something very important. It's pushing the sawdust into the cut, therefore it's not pulling the fibers of the wood up. So if I'm making a dado, or if I'm cutting a pocket in a tray or something with a flat bottom, that that's the, if that's going to be making the finish, the down spiral will actually be a lot smoother cut on the face than the up spiral because it's pushing the fibers down rather than pulling them up. Though it will cut a lot slower than the up spiral and it will cut a lot hotter. Um, so you got to be really careful with these. Uh, but they do definitely have an application, both of those do. Um, now the other thing you got to know about spirals, it's especially when you're comparing a helical head planer versus a regular two or three blade planer. Um, so this is a helical head planer. Um, like a spiral, it will cut a lot smoother than its counterpart, um, the two or three flute, just regular cutter head, but it actually will cut a little bit slower because um, the blade is actually in contact with the wood consistently. It tends to take a little bit more power away from the motor. Um, so a blade like this, a lawnmower style blade as some people would call them, it has a little bit more time to get back up to speed. Uh, so they will actually cut a little bit faster. They won't take as much power away from the motor. Um, so just something to be aware. The spiral bits are a little bit more money. Compared to these two bits will always cut smoother always leave a smoother finish, um, maybe a little bit slower, um, and maybe a little bit warmer than these regular straight bits. 
Um, they all have an application, but um, they do have a little different purpose, all of them. So if anyone else has any other questions, um, it doesn't have to be about router bits, it could be about anything, uh, email me at info at stockandsupply.com or just comment on the video and feel free to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.